All right, so today we are going to install a brand new attic ladder. Picked up this ladder at Home Depot. It's the aluminum version, only because it holds more than the wood version. Uh, 375 pounds. No, I am not that fat, but yes, I am on my way. Um, not really. If I get that heavy, I'm in trouble. Um, this ladder is going to go in the garage. The current attic access in my house is in the pantry, which is cramped, tight, pain in the butt. And I get all the food, all insulation-y when I go up and down. So, in goes this in a new hole in the garage. So, this is gonna go straight up in here. Uh, I wasn't going to do an actual ladder, I was going to do just another attic access, so I am going to have to elongate this hole. I'm gonna have to take it over here. I believe that package just said 54 inches. Right now I'm only at 36. So I'm gonna have to take it, cut it out a little bit further, just like that, and then slap it in. Uh, you'll see a little mess up right here. This was a uh, little boo-boo from a bad stud finder. Uh, so that will be patched. Um, <laughs> but for now, it looks ugly. Anywho, let's get started. Okay, so for this particular ladder, check that out, I'm reading the instructions, that's good. So for this particular ladder, I don't know if you can read, oh, look at that. This is a new camera, it's much better than my smaller camera. Uh, the new opening needs to be 22 and a half inches by 54 inches. So as I said, let's open that hole. I'm just going to add a little back support for uh, this is going to be the hinge side of the axis. Again, not needed. Just what I wanted.
what you would do instead of carrying it up there and putting it in there for later is you'd put a little temporary support on that end then a little two by four or one by four or something as well as this end you'd push that up drop it down let it sit uh, it would also require two people because now you'd have to be up there but I have two attic entrances so I'm going to put in the temporary supports right now it's already up there who cares and then I will take the ladder drop it back down go up in my other attic access and finish from up there All right, so now we are in the attic. I went through the other attic access. As you'll remember, we have our ladder. Now we're just gonna slide it onto those temporary supports. Oh, however it's easier for you. I'm gonna make sure this is downstairs, so don't mess up on that. I'm probably gonna block some video, but that's okay. Easy peasy, just like that. Okay, so now that that is in, uh, we're gonna read the instructions to see what they want next. Cause I did not read that far. So it wants no gaps up at the header, which is the hinge side. So. There's no gap as it gets. There we go. We want some equal gap on both sides. And it's important to note at this point you probably don't want to lean on this too much. Or you might go bye bye. Now we need to go downstairs and disconnect the support ports. Now that we've got it semi in place, we bolt her together. We're just going to do the first uh, couple of bolts here to the header first. I don't like to tighten with the impact, I just like to get them in there and I'll tighten with the ratchet. Reason being with the impact is way too easy to uh, go way overboard. Drill those off camera. 